Hey guys, how's it going? Zombie here with Xenar Gaming, and today we're going to be looking at a uh, Ghost Recon Wildlands, and this is going to be a uh, buyers buyers beware type of video. I don't normally do these, but I just want to go and uh, try to get this out. Something I noticed. Um, I want to go ahead and start off on this screen. I wanted everyone to look at the solo challenges reward, the skull face uh, facial paint, and the task force challenge, the gothic tattoo. And, th and while I'm talking, I'll go through the menu so I can get where I need to go. But what this is about is the, um, I've noticed in this game that almost all purchable DLC is acquired, uh, through free, uh, for one way or the other. So what you do, if you go to the, uh, store here and then pause menu, and if you go down to the, uh, ghost packs, and if you go to the right here, you'll see darkness is an option. Now, this is something I noticed before during the, uh, I believe it was uh, season two, maybe weeks four and five. Uh, I'm not exactly sure, but it's where we acquired the Santa Moise. Uh, it was a helicopter, a bike, and a truck. And I noticed that we acquired DLCs, um, DLC content, without actually at the buying them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to the darkness patch now, and I'm going to show that this is worth 14.50 um, credits and that here's all the stuff you get now this gun looks pretty cool the vector spectra and to the right it says lethal power can come with a curse so i'm wondering if this gun has any special abilities like the uh, explosive rounds that come with the hci desert from tier one mode but going down you'll see there's a couple other items here but when you get here you'll see there's a skull and the gothic tattoo now as you can see these are the only two things that i actually own out of this pack um but that actually shows that it is not required to pay for these packs to actually get these items now one day um th i mean there are a lot of packs here and a lot of stuff so i'm not sure if we'll eventually get everything here and a lot of the things like the assassin's creed the future soldier the rainbow six and the vision the and the splinter cell these are ones that come with owning more than one game so i'm sure that you will not be able to acquire these items but when it comes to stuff like these uh, featured content, not featured, I'm sorry, ghost packs where you see this here. And the other reason I want to point that out, if you go down to the vehicle packs, where I was mentioning before about season two, you will see the Santa Moite and that I own it. I did not actually purchase this DLC. All three items were acquired through performing season challenges. So what I'm trying to get as if you're like me and you don't exactly have the funds right now to pour into this additional DLC, uh, you do not have to necessarily worry about it because it's very possible that all this DLC will become available at one time or another to acquire. Now, these are, of course, um, some of these special packs like the vehicle packs here or the ghost packs like we saw. When it comes to the weapon packs, um, and attachment packs a lot of these are just items you can get in game as you can see all these I own and If you go down there may be one thing that hasn't been acquired and that's why you do not own the pack technically So I have two here So guys if you got the money and you want to put in for it and you don't want to uh, take a chance of getting or not getting these things or if you are new to the game you got a few bucks on you and you don't want to go through for all the attachments or the certain weapons like the snipers and stuff um you can go ahead and buy these packs that way you don't have to go through the um through the game itself but just know like here if you buy the sniper pack you'll see you will come with a couple rifles here this um this is not all of them but then you get a couple scopes um a couple grips and stuff and these same attachments can be purchased in the um, in these packs as well. So be mindful of the packs you're buying if you are buying them so you don't buy duplicate packs. And that's just kind of a buyer beware I wanted to let everyone know. I'm not discouraging anyone from spending money if you have it and you don't want to go through. Collecting all these items themselves can take a really long amount of time. And uh, some of you may not want to do that and some of you may not want to take the time to find them and that is perfectly fine. But uh, I just wanted to give an out a notification that this stuff can be acquired by other means, it seems, without paying. I'm not sure if everything will be that way. But All right, guys. Well, we will see you on the next one. Um, if you like what you saw, please like, subscribe, and uh, comment below. And we appreciate it, guys. Thanks.